Thank you for joining this quick screencast brought to you by Salesforce Support. In this video, we're going to review the differences between an exclusion, suppression, and auto suppression list in Salesforce Marketing Cloud, and how to check if a subscriber was not sent an email due to these features. First, let's discuss these three features and how they are different. An exclusion list is any list, group, or data extension you select at the time of send. A suppression list is a list of subscribers that you do not want to receive a specific email. Suppression lists filter out email addresses and prevent those addresses from receiving your messages. An auto suppression list is a list of subscribers that you do not want to receive emails from your Marketing Cloud account. All three of these features prevent subscribers from being sent in the same way, but are used for different reasons. A common case for exclusion lists is as follows. You send a newsletter to list A, but later realize you also want to send it to list B. Some of the subscribers on list A are also on list B, and you do not want to send them the same email twice. When you send to list B, you select list A as an exclusion list. Suppression lists serve as a do not contact list for your email sends and must be selected for each email. An auto suppression list also serves as a do not contact list, but is automatically applied to all emails sent from your account. For more information, see our help documentation linked in the description of this video. Now let's see how to check if a subscriber has been excluded from an email because of an exclusion list or a suppression list. The easiest way to check an exclusion list is to look at the tracking information for the send in question. Navigate to Email Studio, then Email. Hover over Tracking, then select Sends. Navigate to the folder that contains the job ID in question. For this video, we made a send to replicate this scenario. On the Overview tab of the job, review the Summary panel and look at the Excluded section. Notice how many subscribers are listed within the parentheses, showing how many were excluded from that send. To find the specific subscribers who were excluded, we have to review who is on the list. To do this, navigate to Email Studio, then Email. Hover over Subscribers and select Lists. Go to the folder that contains the exclusion list. Click into your list and stay in the Subscribers tab. Use the search button to look for a subscriber by subscriber key or email address. For this example, let's search for the email example at salesforce.com by selecting email address equal example at salesforce.com and click Find Now. Here it is. So if this list is used as an exclusion list in Ascend, then this email address will not be sent to. Now let's review the steps to check if a subscriber was not sent an email due to a suppression list. Navigate to Email Studio, then Email. Hover over Subscribers and select Lists. Move into the folder called Suppression Lists. Click into your list. On this page, you can see the subscriber key and email addresses that are part of the suppression list. To review the subscribers in an auto suppression list, navigate to Email Studio, then Email. Click Admin. Then on the left, under the Send Management section, find the Auto Suppression Configuration section. Check the box of the auto suppression list you want to review and then select Subscribers. You're now ready to check if a subscriber was excluded using an exclusion, suppression, or auto suppression list. For more information, go to help.salesforce.com or join us on the trail at trailblazer.salesforce.com.